Hey guys, what's up? This is Spacey H, and the team from me last left off at a Final Fantasy VII. Alrighty, so we finish with Midgar. At last. We don't have to go back there. We uh, basically destroyed the Shinra after Rufus was gone. By uh, weapons attack, he basically uh, probably disappeared or he died. One of those reasons. Because there's no way Rufus can die that quick or whatever. And uh, the whole Shinra executives uh, basically went uh, amok. Hedega and Scarlet did their own thing. Ojo did his own thing. The Turks. They follow their own orders now. You don't hear nothing about them no more now. They're done. And uh, Hedega and Scarlet are dead along with Hojo. So, yeah. But nobody never, not, nobody never says nothing about Palmer. Whatever happened to that guy? You know? Kind of leaves, that, that leaves a question right there. What happened to Palmer? Because I know he's still alive. I mean, he got hit by that truck. You know? That's actually interesting. Should ask a question about that and send that to like PlayStation <laughs> company. Just ask them crazy, like a crazy question. In Final Fantasy VII, you know, when uh, K. Sif says Shinra is finished, what happened to Palmer? Did he leave or whatnot? You know, he got a, a, out of a job now. You know, he can't run Shinra by himself. He's a clumsy old fat tub of lard. But whatever. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue with the story. As you can see here, uh, everybody's off the ship and whatnot. There's only Cloud and Tifa. What are you gonna do, Tifa? Shit. Virus thing ran out. Wow. Did you forget? I'm all alone. I don't have all anywhere to go. Everyone's gone. Yeah. We don't have anywhere or anyone to go home to. Alright. But I'm sure someday they'll come back, don't you think? Hmm. I wonder. Everyone has an irreplaceable something they hold on to. But this time, our opponent. Hmm. But that's alright. Even if no one comes back. As long as I'm with you, as long as you're by my side, I won't give up. Even if I'm scared. Tifa. No matter how close we are. We were far apart. Before this. When we were in a live stream. Surrounded by all those screams of anguish. I thought I heard your voice. You probably don't remember this. Deep in my heart, I heard you calling my name. Or at least I thought you did. I thought I did. Yeah. At the time, I heard you calling me. You were calling me back from the stream of consciousness and the live stream. After all, I promise that if anything would have happened to you, I would come to help. Cloud, do you think? Don't you, do you think the stars can hear us? Fuck, I'm adding words in this, man. Do you think they see how hard we, we're fighting for them? I don't know. But whether they are or not, we still have to do what we can. We believe in ourselves. Someday we'll find the answer. My Tifa, that's what I learned from you when I was in the live stream. Yeah, that's right. Hey Tifa, I, there are a lot of things I wanted to talk to you about, but now that we're together like this, I don't know what I really wanted to say, I guess nothing changed at all, kind of makes you want to laugh. Cloud, words aren't the only thing that people, that tell people what you're thinking.
And I just can't wait, yo. Summertime, yo. Mugen. Mugen. You can see a lot of videos of that, sh of that shit, Nicks. Like, I'm gonna be all over that game, like Cheap Suit. Or a nickel on a dime, for that matter. And the reason why I said nickel over a dime is because nickel is bigger than a dime. It's almost done. Uh huh. Sorry. Did I wake you? It's almost done, Tifa. Um. Good morning, Cloud. Give me a little longer. Just a little bit longer. This day will never come again. So let me have this moment. Yeah. Okay. This is probably the last time we'll have together. Summertime, you know what that means. If you watch the regular show, you know what I got that from. Some funny idiots, I swear. Look. <clears throat> but yeah, anyways, Mugen's coming soon, and uh, the Let's Play in there during the summertime, hold that off, because I'm going to get a few games, play them a bit, you know, try to remember, remember them all, and then, pow, we're going to play, I'm going to play them. Um, there is one game that I will do. But uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll tell you all about that later, you know. I'm not going to do like how I'm doing now. One let's play of a game, then another one of a different let's play now. But you understand it all, you know, once summer is over or whatever. We better go. But I still... It's alright, Tifa. You said so yourself, you said so yourself yesterday. At least we don't have to go on alone. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's go. Ah right, man. So I just want to bust a little uh, spoiler out. If you want to do the side quest that I did in this disc, and you try to do them in the third disc, they're not there. But instead, like everything that happened after the Midgar and whatnot. All the other side quests before that, you can kiss that goodbye because you're not gonna get, you're not gonna fight the Turks, you know, you're not gonna do that, you're not gonna kill Don Corneo, they're probably gonna kill him off on their own, whatever the case may be, you know, that's just it. The airship is too big for just the two of us. Yeah, it's a little lonely without everyone. Don't worry, it'll be okay. I'll make a big enough ruckus for everyone. Besides, I'm the pilot. No more flying around casually like before. We won't have the time to feel lonely. Huh? It's moving. Barry, Sid. Uh, oh, is, it, is that okay with you? <clears throat> Red 13. Why didn't you tell me? But you know, Sid. <clears throat> hey, Red 13. If you put it now, you never know what they'll say later. Were you watching? <laughs> I just like how he just looked at him. Why such a puzzled look? You don't want me to come? No, it's just that you're always so cold. I thought you didn't care what was happening. Cool. Hmm. I guess that's just how I am. Sorry. How the hell? Looky here, the shipping manager comes back. 
<clears throat> uh, excuse me, but I wanted to come with the main group. I couldn't get in the way. So some people in Midgard took me in. I know I have a stuffed animal body, but I work really hard. I guess that's everyone. No, Yuffie's missing. She ain't gonna show up. At least this time she didn't still have to you. Guess we gotta be thankful for that. How can you say that? I came all the way here after being seasick as a dog. I didn't go through all that just to have you guys have the best parts all to yourselves. <clears throat> Welcome back, Goofy. Gee, Cloud, that's so nice of you to say that. You sick? Well, whatever. I'm gonna be my reserve seat in the hall. Wait up. Nah, I'm done. Thanks, everyone. We didn't come back for your spiky head ass. We came back for Marlene. Guess it's just my, what you call, feelings or something? I, uh, I ain't got no words now. Although she's not here, she left us a window of opportunity. We can't let it go like this. Eris, she was smiling to the end. We have to do something, but that smile would just freeze like that. Let's all go together. Memories of Eris. Although she should have returned to the planet by now, something stopped her, and now she's stuck. We got, we got to let go of Eris's memory. Has anyone here changed their mind? I'm counting on you, Sid. Yeah, yeah. There are two lovers here that have been bugging me for a while. Let me try them out. All right. So what should I do? You decide, Clam. This is our last battle. Our target is the North Cave. Our enemy is Sephiroth. So let's move out. Almost in North Cave. We're on our way, Sephiroth. Me, I'm gonna stick it to him. I'm done. What is it, Sid? Uh, some incredible force. Losing control. Get the hell out of here, Flunkies. Did I tell you what's going on? Yes, sir. This is our home. Oh my, stop trying to act so cool. Alright, you jokers. Hold me down with anything you got. Geronimo! None of this too? Save these games to this point in your memory card? Yes. <clears throat> well, guys, this is it. This is pretty much it. Uh, we're at the freaking brink of completing this. Oh, can't show you that one. We're at the. What the? Which one is which? We're at the brink of completing this game, guys. We're so close, I can taste it. And here he is, Teeth is back on track. Alright, you guys, stopping it right here. This is it, everybody. Third disc. Won't start no time this week. <laughs> Sorry to tell you that. I have just got, I gotta do one last thing. I, I promised myself I'd do it. And uh, it deals with a side quest. And I can't really show it because there's no guarantee that it will happen 100%. Take a lot of time to soon to get it all done. But anyways, every other thing else I'll do later on. But this main side quest has to get done off the clock, so that way we can fight weapons, both Ruby, Emerald, and Ultimate Weapon. And uh, after all those weapons, 
you can go ahead and charge at Sephiroth, and that'll be the end of the game right there. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for sticking out to the end of this game. This is really, really getting close to the end of the game, and I'm really excited about this. You know, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you got a comment, leave a comment. And if you're new to my YouTube, if you've seen this video, you want to keep up to date with me, subscribe. Any more videos coming in the future. This is it, everybody. The last and final disc. I know you guys are ready to see this. I know you guys are entirely ready to see what's going to happen at the end. But, uh, you know, I got to do my thing, you know. So, Pac Man World is going to take over. We're switching, we're switching people, we're switching games now. Substitution time. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm H Space TH. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm gone. Peace out, everybody. And enjoy your week. Or Monday, for that matter. Peace.